Tuesday morning. Although you might not be watching this on a Tuesday, I don't know. Maybe you will. I am. Um, I left uh, Sedona this morning at five, and um, well, five thirty, I guess, uh, to go to work at seven this morning. Um, yes, I push limits sometimes because I don't want to go back to the city. <laughs> I miss being a nomad. <laughs> um, on my way out, uh, I have to climb up 89A, um, the freeway highway there. And I hit just barely getting into town. It was still dark. And I had turned my radio down to record the road. I can't have anything copyrighted on YouTube. Um, and so... I turned the radio down and I recorded and then I heard thump, thump, thump. And I looked in my rear, you know, my windows, my rear view window, my side, uh, mirrors, rather mirrors. Um, and I didn't see my bike. <laughs> so, shit. <laughs> so I pull over into a parking lot and sure as shit, my pin that holds my bike up disappeared. I don't know if I just didn't put it in or if it popped out because it was kind of broken. Um, if it popped out and it finally just popped out and the bike pulled down because I can pull my bike down to get into the back of my truck and it's hopped. <laughs> One tire was hopping around. So I did smell a little bit of rubber, um, burnt rubber. So I don't know if I messed up my tire I don't think I messed up the frame of the bike because you can really, really mess up the frame, obviously, if you're dragging it behind your truck. <laughs> but it was just kind of hopping, I think. Um, the way it's strapped in, it kind of gives a little bit. So hopefully um, there's no damage to my bike. Maybe the tire, we'll see. But I won't find out until later this afternoon. or Starbucks, but that's not going to happen. Luckily, I have hiker and activity. I call them hiker, but, you know, cliff bars. That was a very, very fun weekend in Sedona. Um, well, I shouldn't say very, very, very fun. I didn't get a lot of hiking in. I didn't get any mountain biking in. Uh, but I would really like to go back down there and just explore. I know there's so many hiking trails and just more places to explore. So I'm excited. I'm really excited that it's about an hour away and I can go explore Sedona and Flagstaff. It does feel good to be home. <laughs> I'm not in Sedona anymore. I actually went to work this morning and had a full shift and I'm I'm tired, <laughs> um, but I think it's more of like a mental thing because I don't, I don't want to be stationary. I want to be a nomad. So it was really hard to come back from Sedona. On a positive note, I got something in the mail. <laughs> Check it out, guys. First official winter buy ever. Okay, I'm kind of lying. I have purchased um, chains for my tires when I lived in California. I had to drive over Truckee. If you're familiar with Truckee, you have to have chains in the wintertime. Um, I did buy those. And I do have a down jacket. <laughs> and some Ugg boots, but I don't know if Uggs count. I mean, if you get them wet, they don't really work, do they? But you believe I'm going to go get my Ugg boots soon from uh from my storage i hope it's okay to wear them in flagstaff let's find out what i bought well i know what i bought it's not something that i'm excited about <laughs>
if you guys were watching my other videos, this is what my friend Vanessa from Massachusetts told me to purchase for living in the snow. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness oh my goodness look at how big it is I don't even know how to use this A weapon. <laughs> there it is. So for brushing and scraping snow and ice off of my truck. I was advised to buy two. I guess one to keep in my car uh, for when I'm out and about and I would need it. And then also for the morning, I keep one inside my room just in case I can't access the one in my car. And then she actually told me to get a third one. And I went, I, she goes, just in case <laughs> you lose one of the other ones. I'm like, I'll buy two. <laughs> Thank you. 